p.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning. The countdown at T-minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. This is shuttle launch control. And now Jack Rosma uh, coming out and waving to the crowd. In addition to the uh, KSC workers, there is also the press photographers who are assembled and watching them climb into the vans along with the cooling equipment that they carry to keep their suits cool uh, while they are on the ground. This will be the longest of the shuttle missions to date. The first two uh, were about 54 hours in length. This one will be seven days in length and will double the time that we have on the uh, airframe off the orbiter. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus two hours, five minutes, and holding. The astronaut van has uh, come up the ramp to the pad surface at the pad, and permission has been given by the orbiter test conductor and the NASA test director for the crew to enter the orbiter. T-minus 45, we're 14 seconds away from switching command of the countdown from the ground computers to onboard computers. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T-minus 33 seconds and counting. The GOX bent arm is fully retracted, and we're switching control of the countdown to the onboard computers. T-minus 25 seconds. The sequencer on the orbiter is now controlling the final seconds. T-minus 20 seconds. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. We are go for main engine ignition. 8, 7, 6. We have main engine ignition. Coming up on negative seats where altitude is too high for ejection seat use. On the Houston, negative seats. Negative seats. Mark one minute, 55 seconds. Columbia now 21 nautical miles in altitude, 19 nautical miles down range. CC 50, Houston. Two minutes, two seconds. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation confirmation. Fifteen seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster separation. Roger, Columbia. We confirm guidance converged. Two minutes twenty-three seconds. Onboard guidance is converging as programmed. Columbia is now steering for a. Pers 